Boston Center, good morning, American 11 with you, passing through 190 for 230. American 11, Boston Center, Roger, climb, maintain level 280. American 11, turn 20 degrees, right? 20 right, American 11. American 11, now climb, maintain level 350. American 11, climb, maintain level 350. American 11, Boston. Earth 7, Mike Lima, how do you hear? Mike Lima, how do you laugh clear? American 11, Boston. American 1-1, one, one, uh, the American on the frequency, how do you hear me? This is uh, Adam. This is Boston. I turned American 20 left and I was going to climb. He will not respond to me now. It looks at all. like he's turning right. Yeah, I turned him 20 right. Oh, okay. And he's only going to, uh, I think, 29. Okay. Well, sure, that's fine. Uh, but he I'm won't not answer talking you. to him. Nardo. Roger. Right. Thanks. Seven Mike Lima, descend at pilot discretion, maintain for level two four zero. PD on two four zero will begin down on three Mike Lima. American eleven Boston. American eleven, if you hear Boston Center right then. Colonel 683, Boston Center, Roger. Climb, maintain for level 310. Climb, maintain for level 310. American 11, if you hear Boston Center, I den, please, or acknowledge. American 11, if you hear Boston Center, uh, recontact Boston Center on 127.82. That's American 11, 127.82. Athens, this is Rockdale. A couple things. Point out north and west of Rockdale is Incham, 986. What up, Chris? Hey, also, are you trying to get through the company on the American or anything? We're trying everything here. Is he really got no transplant to screw up or what? It appears that way. No kidding. Hi. American Airlines emergency line, please state your emergency. Hey, this is Nitty, the American Airlines calling. I am monitoring a call in which Flight 11, the flight attendant is advising our reps that the pilot, everyone's been stabbed. Flight 11? Yep. They can't get into the cockpit is what I'm hearing. Okay, who's this I'm talking to? Excuse me, this is Nitty, the American Airlines at the Raleigh Reservation Center. I'm the operations specialist on duty. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Nidia. Nidia. And what's your last name? Gonzalez, G-O-N-C-A-L-E-C. All the reservations. Okay. I now have a you... flight attendant on the line with one of our agents. Okay. And she's calling how? To reservation. I can go in on the line and ask the flight attendant questions. Okay. Uh... Uh, I'm assuming they've declared an emergency. Let me get ATC on here. Stand by. Got any contact with anybody? Okay, I'm still on with security. Okay, Betty? You're doing a great job. Just, just stay calm, okay? We are, absolutely. Okay, we're contacting a flight crew now. We're, all con uh, we're also contacting ATC. Okay. 
Anything else from the flight attendant? Um, so far what I've got, the number five flight attendant's been stabbed, but she seems to be breathing. The number one seems to be stabbed pretty badly, and she's lying down on the floor. They don't know whether she's conscious or not. The other flight attendants are in the back, um, and that's as far as I know. It seems like the passengers in the coach might not be aware of what's going on right now. These two passengers were from first class? Okay, hold on. Hey, Betty. Do you know any information as far as the gents and men that are in the cockpit with the pilots? Were they from first class? They were sitting in 2A and B. Okay. They are in the cockpit with the pilots. Who's helping them? Is there a doctor on board? Is there a doctor on board, Betty, that's <clears throat> you guys? You don't have any doctors on board? Okay. So you've gotten all the first-class passengers out of first class? Have they taken everyone out of first class? Yeah, she's just saying that they have during coach. What's going on, honey? Okay, the aircraft is erratic again. Very she did say that all the first class passengers have to move back to coach. So first class, the cabin is empty. What's going on on your end, Craig? Uh, we contacted air traffic control. They are going to handle this as a confirmed hijacking. So they're moving all the traffic out of this aircraft's way. Okay. Uh, he turned his transponder off, so we don't have a definitive altitude for him. Uh, we're just going by, they, they seem to think that they have him on a primary radar, they seem to think that he is descending. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Lydia? Yes, dear, I'm here. Okay. I have the dispatcher currently taking the current fuel on board. Uh-huh. And uh, we're going to run some profiles. Okay. To see exactly what his endurance is. Okay. Did you she doesn't have an idea who the other passenger might be in first. Apparently, they might have spread something, so it's, it's um, they're having a hard time breathing or getting in that area. What's going on, Betty? Betty, talk to me. Betty, are you there? Betty, what do you think you lost her? Okay, so we'll let, we'll stay open. We, I think we might have lost her. Okay. Is that American 11 trying to call? Buddy, we have some claims. Just stay quiet and you'll be okay. We're returning to the airport. And uh, who's trying to call me here? American 11, are you trying to call? Nobody move. Everything will be okay. If you try to make any move, you will endanger yourself and the airplane. Just stay quiet. Nobody move. Everything will be okay. If you try to make any move, you will endanger yourself and the airplane. Just stay quiet. Yeah, we got him on primary. 838? Yeah. Have you guys heard anything from American? No. Okay, we think there might be somebody in the cockpit right now taking it over. Okay. Yeah, we, we just, it was just uh, broadcast over here. Place. Yeah, we're already doing it. Okay, head on. Sir, you can't get that direct front this morning? Uh, not right now. Go ahead, 38. Yeah, American 11, uh, we suspect there's someone in the cockpit that's taken over. We have just put him in direct Watertown, Jamestown. Last we knew, he was on present heading, cleared to flight level 290. No one is talking to him. Eric has been called. We broadcasted on guard. We tried through company. Okay. Thanks. And 290 is not verified. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Because he was just heading that way. Yes. Yeah, we've taken the American back because he appears to have turned. Yep, thanks. Flagship 5616, Bob. Oh, sorry. Do what? 230 flagship 566. Over Go ahead. Yeah, I need you to look west of Albany, American 11, and put him on your scope. He is, uh, Nordo has been 
sense you talk to Boston High. We assume he's at flight level 290. Uh, we're not sure. We think there's someone in the cockpit with him. Um, we broadcasted over guard. We've gone Eric. We have gone company. Uh, nobody is talking to him. We don't know where he's going. We don't know what altitude he's at. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Cleveland. Back to New York, Boston. Uh, I got a little situation with American 1 1, American 11. He is a uh, 767 departed Boston going to LAX. Uh, we don't know where the aircraft is going. He uh, is uh, supposedly going to LAX. Uh, was going westbound. We lost his uh, frequency. Then we lost his transponder. And now the aircraft is uh, just west of Albany heading due south. Oh, my goodness. We have, do we have the, uh, the data block on him? Who's got the... Yeah, we, we have, it's a primary target presently, and, and it's just heading uh, southwest mount. Okay. Um, I don't want to go to right now. I'll, I'll advise the area. The last altitude that I observed there was a flight level 290. 29. Heading southwest mount. He's like towards uh, Hancock, uh, right, uh, right around there. He's uh, southwest of Albany by one five miles. You have no idea where he's going? No idea, sir. All right. You can tag him on the uh, TSC. Yeah, I have to pick him up. Primary only? Primary only. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Well, Boston Center claims that uh, uh, they lost the radio transponder. communication with the aircraft. And the transponder. And the transponder. And it's also, uh, it, it, they're tracking the primary target at this point. He was last known at uh, flight level 290. Uh -huh. And he appears to have turned uh, south of westbound. And uh, also, there was some mention of some sort of a, a threat being made, or uh, he made a threat to the cockpit, or some threat in, oh, let me get in, in the cockpit. Then, and Boston's uncertain exactly what was said. I guess they're going to try to pull the tapes okay. as quick as they can. Hey, uh, Tom, what can I reach you back? What number at? Okay. All right. Okay. I'll call you back. Right. SOC, Ray Holland. Ray Holland, Nancy Wyatt, uh, Boston Flight Service. Yes. Okay, we've got the flight attendants on the line here. You do have them on the line? On the plane, yeah. Can you conference them in with us? I have no idea how to do that. If you can help me out. Um, hold. Uh, he's getting some information here. Uh, I'm going to read his notes for you. Um, it looks like uh, he's Middle Eastern. He speaks no English. He was in 10B, 10 Baker, right. 9D and G. Speaks no speaks no English. Uh, the plane's in a rapid descent. Uh, is hold on. So yeah. Okay, the flight attendants are concerned they don't know what's going on in the cockpit. Are you in con contact with them? No, we're not. That's true. We're, we're trying to get in contact with the cockpit. Okay. No, you feel like you're just... Okay. Uh, we don't really want to tell her that. Okay, don't... Okay. Okay, got it. Okay, then... Um, we're not sure. Um, okay, it looks like there is severe bleeding that... Uh, okay. He's keeping, them, keeping her on the line. Um, there's severe bleeding... There is a slashed throat. Michael, is that severe? Is that slashed throat a flight attendant? No. Okay. What's that? Boston Flight Service has another one of the flight attendants on the phone, too. Boston Flight Service. Amy? You lost okay. It? Yeah, okay, we lost the other one, so I really need okay. to get on the phone with her. Something's wrong. Uh, it's Amy, Amy Sweeney's on the phone. Amy Sweeney? Yeah, she's the number nine. Okay. And he's having trouble talking to her right now. All right, these are the two that are injured. Amy? 25. She started screaming and saying something's wrong, and now he's having trouble. No. Okay. Now he thinks he might be disconnected. Okay, we just lost um, connection. Lost the connection. Yeah. Something's wrong with the airplane? Yeah. In other words, something's wrong. 
They're not in the cockpit. No, they're in the back of the plane. They're in the back of the airplane? Yeah, they're in the back of the airplane. They're not... Oh, the hijackers are in the cockpit. Oh, oh no. Okay, they're in the cockpit. Hey, Craig. Craig. They're saying the hi they're in the cockpit. In the Listen, look to see when the next flight to Kennedy is, just in case we're going to Kennedy so we can be ready. Nobody move, please. Uh, going back to the airport. Don't try to make any stupid moves. Kennedy, Kingston 93. Kennedy. Here are the heads up for you here. I got an American 11. He's right over Kingston right now. He's just, we think he's at flight level 290. There appears to be some possible problem with him. He's departed Boston going to uh, Los Angeles. But uh, somewhere along the way here, he took a left turn, and he's not talking to anyone. Hasn't talked to anybody in about 75, maybe 100 miles. So he's southeast bound right now, so he's going to pass just like over Carmel. And again, we don't have a verified altitude. We think he's at flight level 290. We're trying to verify that now. Do you have a code on him? Uh, no, he's just flying x-ray. There's no code on the guy. He's flying x-ray, and we had approved that. So he's the primary right now. Right over King Brown, right. Alpha level 290, supposedly. Supposedly 290, right. and he's headed southeastbound? He's headed southeastbound right now. Like he's going to go between, uh, looks like, maybe right over Dewey's intersection. So I'm just giving you a heads up. We're not talking to him. No one's talked to him for the last 20 minutes. And what's his call sign? American 11. American 11. American 11. Yeah, I'll, I'll call you when he gets on close to your boundary, okay? Okay. Somebody. Could I get your tray card? You bet. So nothing with the uh, cockpit? Yeah, with American 11. Say it again? Oh, a reference to American 11. Right, have you had any contact with him yet? Uh, no, no contact. Uh, it is confirmed uh, hijack, though. Tray hi. Okay. Hey, Tracon, hi, Boston Center. Uh, good morning. American 11. Uh, 767 possible hijack. Okay, American 11, 75, seven, uh, and uh, Destin. Where's he landing? Uh, right now, we don't have any idea, but uh, he was to the northwest of Albany, and now he's uh, down by Sparta, losing speed okay. very rapidly. We believe he's a primary only, and uh, we believe he's on the descent. That's why he's uh, he's, he's wow. slowing down.
Wow, okay. Well, we'll talk to Otis here. Okay, and uh, just put a, uh, if you want us just to park, and uh, we'll put a flight plan for him, and uh, we'll aim him towards uh, Hampton, the right? I think it's a problem. We're going to love you. I'll talk to you. Okay. And uh, right now he's on the ground in Albany? Uh, no, 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 no. He's uh, right now southwest of Albany. He's airborne about 40 to the south of Albany, primary only. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll talk to him right now. And who's this here? Dan Bueno from Washington, TMU. Dan, yeah, TMU. Okay. All right. All right. See you. All right. Hunter's weapon, Sergeant Powell. Hi, Boston Center, TMU. We have a, a problem here. We have a hijacked aircraft headed towards New, New York, and we need you guys to, we need someone to scramble some F-16s or something up there to help us out. Is this, is this real world or exercise? No, this is not an exercise manifest. Okay, hey, uh, hold on one second, okay? Yes. Hey, 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 Sir. 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 Yes, sir. Yeah, I've got an MCC coming in right now to talk to you, so you can handle all that. Thank you. All right. Somebody wants to grab. Oh, you want to grab Hi, this is Major Deskins. Hi, Joe Cooper, Boston Center. We yes, have Joe. a hijacked aircraft headed towards the New York metro area. I'm wondering if you could um, send someone up there, some yeah. F-16s or something, to help York us out. Maybe out, of, okay. maybe out of Otis. Do you have a Mode 3 on it? No, Do you have a Mode 3 no code? it's just a primary target only. We lost um, we lost the uh, mode, mode C on it. So you'd have to get up in the air and we'd have to vector you towards the aircraft. Okay, so you'd want to control the intercept because... We have to, yeah, you have until, to, until right. you guys pick him up on primary radar. Okay, so you have a general location as to where he is? We're still tracking him right now. You're tracking him. Can, yeah. can you give me a rat long where you think he is just for RSA? Yeah, hold on a second. Looking for aspects of that long. You got it? No, well, well, yeah. What, no. Once we, uh, once he comes into our radar, we will. We'll be taking it. Give me the slides, quick. Four one one five north. Start looking ahead at all your procedures and air spaces and everything. Make sure you know what's going on. The uh, real world hijack. Forty more. Forty miles north of Kennedy. Do you have time to give me any other amplifying information on it? Yeah. Like battle from station. Where it came from. Boy, notice on battle station. How is that? Approaches on. Sky killer. This is Huntress placing Panta four five four six on battle stations. I repeat, battle stations. Time one two four one. Authenticate. Hotel Romeo. All parties acknowledged with initials. Command post. Sky killer. Okay. Tower. JL. Approach. Tango Juliet, and you say again the call sign? Panta, Papa, Alpha, November, Tango Alpha, 4546. Uh, Tango Juliet. Juliet Papa, all parties are cleared to drop. I've never seen so much real world stuff happen during the next. The last one, they're showing the map. The last one, they're showing the map. The last uh, one. See, that long. 41, right. What was that? We're not going to go to LA. I'll just focus on something in the local area. Okay, find this guy. Yeah. 41, and we're putting it in. 1443. 1443. Look for it. Right there. Okay, mode 3. 1443, last known. No, this is real world. Okay, we're in the high chat. I've got a Z point, sir. Last known position that we got out of this guy was right there at the Z point. He's heading 190 at 29,000 feet. He's heading down. So we're looking for somebody. You know what? Just start hitting up tracks all around that area, that Z point. Okay, just north of uh, SDMCC, scramble Otis. Copy, same mission. MCC, I don't yeah. know where I'm scrambling these guys to. I need a direction, uh, destination. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to give you the Z point. It's just north of uh, New York City. I got this lat long, 4115, 7436, or 7346. Head them in that direction. Copy that. What? What was that? Is that real world? Cool. Where is it? Uh, yeah, Hunter is calling uh, in reference to the hijack aircraft. Yes. We're checking to get some information from you if we could. Okay, what, would you, what do you need? We need call sign type aircraft. It's uh, American 11. American 11. Type aircraft is a uh, 767. And number of souls on board, do you know that? Um, I, I don't know. Hold on. Hey, Dan, we got, we got souls on board and all that information? No, we don't have any of that information. You don't have any of that? But okay. No, position's about 40 miles north of Kennedy. 40 miles north of Kennedy? Right. Do you have a mode 3? No, we don't. He's a primary target only. Primary target only? Yeah. Okay, and you don't know where he's coming from or destination? No idea. He took off out of Boston, originally heading for uh, Los Angeles. Boston to uh, Los Angeles? That was his original destination, yeah. And where are they going now, do you know? No idea. He's heading yep. towards Kennedy. Uh, looks like his speed is decreasing. I'm um, not exactly sure where. Nobody really knows. Are you the controlling agency? Or no, is New York? Center. Boston well, right, Center. Right now we are. He's heading right for New York Center. And is there any military assistance requested? Uh, yes, we're actually trying to get uh, F-15s to... Uh, yes, you do want F-15s out? Yeah, F-15s out of Otis. But you don't have, uh, you don't have any modes or codes on him? Um, no, right now, right now it's just... Uh, no, we don't have any mode 6. Is he inbound to JFK? We, we don't know. <laughs> you don't know where he is at all? He's being hijacked. The pilot's having a hard time talking to the... I mean, we don't know. We don't know where he's going. He's heading towards Kennedy. He's, uh, like I said, he's like 35 miles north of Kennedy now at 367 knots. Okay. No idea where he's going. If you could what please what give us a call and let us know, uh, you know, any information, that would be great. Okay. Right sure. now, I guess we're trying to work on, I guess... There's been some threats in the cockpit. Uh, the There's been what? I'm sorry. Uh, we'll call you right back as soon as we know more info. Thank you. Okay. Sure. okay. Yeah, close up. Jack, how is that? Fudge. Fudge, Fudge. This is Hunter with, with an active air defense scramble for Santa. Four five four six time one two four six authenticate Delta X ray scramble immediately Panta four five four six heading two eight zero flight level two nine or zero contact Huntress on frequency two two eight decimal nine or backup three six four decimal two all parties acknowledge with initials command post Blake Buell Tower J on the tower approach thank you Juliet. Giant killer. Uh, Charlie Bravo. All parties are clear to drop. Julia, pop here. Hi, sir. Okay, what what we're doing? We're trying to locate this guy. We can't find him via IFF. What we're going to do? We're going to hit up every track within a 25 mile radius of this Z point that we put on the scope. 29,000 heading 190. We're just going to do. We're going to try to find this guy. They can't find him. There's not. You know, there's been supposedly there's threats in the cockpit. So we're just uh, we're doing the thing. True. And probably right now, with what's going on in the cockpit, is probably really crazy. So that probably needs to that will simmer down, and we'll probably get some better information. I have scrambled Otis already for your, your direction. We're sending them in that general direction. We're sending them right to that Z point, and then we can uh, we can maneuver them as deem uh, right. We'll we'll work with them. Make sure weapons work with them now. Okay.
So okay, if we can find it, we'll intercept it. Uh, no, uh, we'll Did you just say something hit the World Trade Center or something that reports? No, keep on going with it. Yeah. Talking with ID, and we had a phone call that came down to us saying that they had a possible hijack out of Boston. Okay. And uh, I just flipped around, and we were just, we, we always wanted the news. And a 737 hit the World Trade Center. And um, I was just curious at the same time if that was the aircraft. Uh, last I knew, they had a primary on it, and the track was not squawking 7,500, but it was uh, Could be. under duress. Send them to New York City still. Continue go. Sir, hold on. Okay. Okay. Who's plugged in up there? Plug in. I'm going to have you hold up. Okay. There. This is what I got so far. Okay. Okay. This is what we... Okay. okay. Now we do. Yes. This is what I got. You hear about that input about Possible news? news at 737 just hit the World Trade Center. This is real world. And we're trying to confirm this. Okay, continue taking the fighters down to the New York City area, JFK area, as best as you can. Make sure that the FAA clears uh, your route all the way through. Just do what we got to do, okay? Just press with it. It looks like somebody... looks like this guy could have hit the World Trade Center. All right, our last actual reported position, if he didn't crash into the World Trade Center, was 20 miles south of JFK. So I want you to take him down into this area, hold as needed. Whatever altitude they need to go for center to make that work is fine with me. That's the area I want him to go and hold, right in that little gap there. All right, this is what we're doing. We're taking him down into this area to hold for now. Whatever altitude center needs for them to do that is fine. But... Uh, his, the weapons team should pass that. The fighters should be talking to center. They're going to pass that through the fighters, exactly what we want them to do. Now. Okay, now. Foxy? Yeah. No, no. Because if he's still airborne. Okay, right now. anyway. If you can, hand the fighters over directly to FAA so they They're can still under them. FAA control. We're okay. never going to take them. Just take them all. And just work with them, coordinate with them as best that you can with that. Take them to the area and let them handle that airspace field. Okay, my name is Maria by the White House. It's now near the Pentagon. I don't know where the hell they're getting their entire so Washington is no clue when I called Washington about it. They didn't know what the hell was going on. Okay, United 175, do you have them at your 12 o'clock now, 5, 10 miles? Uh, affirmative, we have them. Uh, he looks about 20, uh, yeah, about 29, 28,000. Okay, thank you. United 175, 30 on degrees to the right. I want you to keep you away from this traffic. 30 degrees to the right, United 175, heavy. New York, United 175, heavy. United 175, go ahead. Uh, we figured we'd wait to go to your center. Uh, we heard a suspicious transmission uh, on our departure out of Boston uh, with someone, uh, uh, someone keyed the mic and said, uh, everyone uh, stay in your seats. Oh, okay. I'll pass it along over here. Hey, Kingston 93 line, go ahead. Hey, United 175 just came on my frequency, and he said that they heard a suspicious uh, transmission when they were leaving Boston. Oh, yeah? Uh, everybody stay in their seat. That's what they heard as a suspicious transmission. Now, that U.S. Air 583 thought the American he spotted them was at 29. Okay, this is New York Center. Uh, we're watching the airplane. He's 15 west of Kennedy now. We had uh, one or two confirmations that he was still at 29. Uh, excuse me, one at 29. One at 31 didn't, couldn't see him. Uh, I also had conversation with American Airlines, and they've told us that they believe that uh, one of the stewardesses was stabbed and that there are people in the cockpit that have control of the aircraft. And that's all the information they have uh, right now. Yeah, 175. Recycle your transponder and score code to 1470. United 175, New York. United 175, do you read New York? 
Delta 1489, do you read New York? Delta 1489, go ahead. Okay, just wanted to make sure you read New York. United, United 175, do you read New York? 10? Hello? Do you uh, see that United 175 anywhere? And do me a favor, you see that target there, the 3321 code at 335 climbing? Don't know who he is, but you got the US Air 583. If you need to descend him down, you can. Nobody, we, we have a hijack. We have some problems over here right now. Oh, you do? Yes. And okay. That, that may be real traffic. Nobody knows. I can't get a hold of the United 175 at all right now. And I don't know where he went to. All right. Okay, I'll see if I have one. All right. Okay. United 175, New York. U.S. Air 583, go ahead. Yeah, I get uh, reports on over the radio of uh, a commuter plane hitting the World Trade Center. Is that uh, Nord 076 still in the air? Don't know, but just stand by. Delta 2433, turn left to a heading of 170 now. I have traffic. I'm not really sure if it's good out of 32. Might be descending, might be climbing. I'm showing them at 31 right now. Heading 170 out of 2433. You know, 175, do you read New York? Delta 2433, um, can you climb to flight level 330? The traffic looks like he's descended back down to 31 now. Yeah, we can go up. Okay, climb and maintain flight level 330, Delta 2433. Climbing at 33, Delta 2433. Go ahead. Oh, I'm Mara sorry. King, I got 39. some handoffs for you. We got some incidents going over here. Is the Delta 2433 going to be okay at 33? Yeah. I had to climb up for traffic of a United 175 that just took off out of a thing. We might have a hijack over here, two of them. And center, 583. Texas King, so, Delta 2433, okay, yeah, coming Delta back. Delta 33. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, the Delta 1489 is coming to you also. Okay, there radar. Delta 1489, contact New York Center now on 134.32. Delta 1489, 3432. Delta 2433, thank you for the help. That uh, United just took off, and we're not really sure what he's doing. He thought it was United 767, though. That's, uh, that's what it looked like. Thank you, Delta 2433. Flying at 270, join J75, resume on navigation. Thanks for the climb. Do you know if anyone down there has done any coordination to scramble uh, fighter type airplanes? Do you think the airplanes in there? No, we have several situations going on here. It's uh, escalating big, big time. And we need to get the military involved with us. Wow, what's going on? Just get me somebody who has the authority to get military in the air now. All right. I'll go tell them. Hey, Joe, you see 3321 code just southwest of Newark by about 15, 18, 20 miles? 15,000 descending? We're looking, hold on, southwest of Newark by about 15, 20. Don't see anything. Okay, we're tracking him, made a hard left turn, he's descending pretty rapidly, and especially what just happened in there. I got somebody who keeps coasting, but it looks like he's going into one of the small amp points down there. Second. No, this Sounds guy's a big boy. This guy's a big boy because he's leaving some big contrails. Trying to bring him up here, get you okay, there. He is right there. Hold on. I'm just out of 9,500, 9,000 now. Do you know who he is? We just, we just, we don't know who he is. We're just picking him up now. All right, heads up, man. It looks like another one. All right. In. Hey, can you look out your window right now? Yeah. Can you, can you see a guy at about 4,000 feet, about five east airport right now? Looks like he's. Yeah, I see him. You see, guy, look, is he descending for the building also? He's descending really quick, too, yeah. Well, that's... He's like 500 feet now. He just dropped 800 feet in like, a, like one, one sweep. That's, that's another situation. Who, what kind of airplane is that? Can you guys tell? I don't know. I'll read it out in a minute. Another one just hit the building. Wow. Wow. Another one just hit it hard. Another one just hit the world side. The whole building just uh, came apart. Oh Holy smokes. All right. I guess you guys can be busy. Okay. There was an end. Yeah. I think an airplane just plowed into the city. I they did. Uh, uh, the World Trade Center hit the top. No, building. another one. We just saw another one do it. Another one? Yeah. Holy cow! That's two. Uh, one just hit an hour ago. Yeah, one just a moment ago. No shit.
Hey, Tommy, are you still there? Yes, I am, Jerry. Tommy, I'm going to reconfirm with uh, with downstairs that uh, the uh, as far as the tape, but Tommy Jones seemed to think that the guy said that we have planes. Now I don't know if it was because it was the accent or if there's more than one, but um, I'm going to I'm going to reconfirm that for you, if, uh, and I'll get back to you real quick, okay? Appreciate it. Planes, as in plural. Tommy, it sounds like we're talking to New York. There's another one aimed at the World Trade Center. There's another aircraft? The second one just hit the Trade Center. Okay. Yeah, we got to get to, we got to alert the military uh, uh, real quick on this. Uh. Do we know what type, Terry? No, we just got that report from, uh, from New York Center. All right. All right, we're standing by. Tommy, we're going to stop everybody. We're going to shut. We're going to shut Boston down. I suggest the same elsewhere. You're going to do what, Terry? We're shutting the airplanes down. We're not letting anyone go right now. Okay. That's a good move. Uh, we're waiting to hear from security. Tommy, Terry, it's confirmed on that tape that they said we have planes. We're going to stop everybody. We're going to shut. The, we're going to shut Boston down. I suggest the same elsewhere. You're going to do what? We're shutting the airplanes down. We're not letting anyone go right now. Okay. That's a good move. We're putting a ground stop on everything. Uh, there's a second plane that just hit the World Trade Center. Stop all departures out of the center, please. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Terry, go ahead. Uh, is there a way or to try to get messages to the airborne aircraft for increased security for the cockpit or something, the A cars or something? I just do not. Have anybody else up there that can? Nobody. We've got internationals that are coming to, to Kennedy, and we're trying to talk to them, but we don't want to, uh, to scare anybody. But we want the. Uh, you know, we were talking about possibly making some uh, transmissions on frequencies for these guys coming overseas to just, uh, you know, increase the security for cockpit uh, operations. Yeah, Terry, we're getting a lot of traffic on this bridge. I, I copied that. Let's keep doing that. Uh, contact the command center, the ATA rep. See if we can get the airline company operations to contact their aircraft. I'd recommend uh, maybe possibility of the stuff coming in from overseas, Bangor, as an alternate site. But leave that up to them. No, we'll leave it up to them, but we're also going to let them know to increase security for cockpit access. All right. Uh, that sounds like a good plan. L2431, uh, we have a, a message for you to heighten your cockpit security uh, due to uh, some activity this morning. Oh, okay, uh, and that is from uh, company? Negative. Uh, it's a general advisory to all aircraft. Uh, this, this morning, an aircraft hit the World Trade Center has been hijacked, and we're receiving reports that there may have been a second one. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, was it a domestic carrier that was uh, hijacked? Uh, it was an American Airlines aircraft. Okay, thank you. Uh, Boston, good morning, yes, 1168, checking in, uh, still at all. Boston, Santa, good morning. Did you copy advisory to hide your cockpit uh, security, cockpit awareness? Uh, negative, so see you again. 1168, uh, all FAA facilities are advising all air carriers to heighten their cockpit awareness. There has been at least one hijack this morning and possibly two. Okay, USS 1168, Roger, we copy. And uh, just confirm that was an airliner that crashed into the World Trade Center? And yeah, that's what we understand. The possibility of two. Okay, thank you, sir. Good, well, good morning. They said 2047, they copy this. Affirmative, thank you. Boston Center, good morning. Since uh, Southwest 1029, level 320, uh, climb at the 350, we copy all the reports. Southwest 1029, I check.
Command Center East. Boston, listen, uh, both of these aircraft departed Boston, both were 7-6s, both heading to L.A., and I'm looking out on the TSD, and I think that all the parties out of Boston should have heightened cockpit security. Is there any way you can bring up every center in the country and relay that message so that they can tell the aircraft that are uh, out there flying right now to increase the cockpit security vigilant on this day? I'll get the message out. Thank you very much. Hunter said answer line. Yes, sir, go ahead. What time, sir? Copy L, sir. Thank you. They have a second possible hijack. United 175? 175. What is it? United 175 is the other aircraft. Mode 3, 3321. Who were you talking to? I was talking to New York. Okay, Foxy. This please. is what this is what I foresee that we probably need to do. We need to talk to FAA. We need to tell them if this stuff is going to keep on going. We need to take those fighters, and put them over Manhattan. Okay. Sir. That's the best thing. That's the best play right now. So coordinate with the FAA. Tell them if there's more out there, which we don't know. Let's get them over Manhattan. At least we got some kind of play. Okay. This is what I got going. Tell Foxy to scramble Langley. Send them in the same location. Battle battle, battle stations or scramble. Battle stations only, Langley. Battle okay, this is, uh, who's up there? Langley. Okay, you're listening? Well, I told the FD so far, we need to get those fighters screwed over Manhattan because we don't know how many guys are out of bar. Could be three, two, could be more. I don't know, just in case. Not down in Whiskey 105 where they want, FAA wants to hold. We need to do more tech. Yes, it is. And stick them, you know, freaking... On battle station. We're working on the whole area. Yeah. Authenticate. So this is. <coughs> yeah. Victor. Langley's okay. That is split. 2526 on battle yeah, station. Yeah, well, we can't. They're in the FAA airspace. Well, we can. Con Langley. Yeah, they're ours. Yeah, they're Nine. mine. Okay. Check on. Back to the this is Huntress placing quit 2526 on battle station. Time 1310. Authenticate Charlie Victor. That is quit 2526 on battle stations. All parties acknowledged with initials. Command post. Langley. Tower. I have a command post. ODC. Say again. No, the female. Who is that? Is an ethical place needed? No, you, you can clear the drop. Giant clear, you clear the drop. Now you clear the drop. American 77, Indy. Indianapolis, uh, good morning, our Canada 579 with you, 350 for 390. Our Canada 579, Indy Center, Roger. American 77, Indy. American 77, American Indy. American 77 American Indy Radio Check. How do you read? American uh, 77 American Radio Check. How do you read? This is uh, Jacobs. This is uh, Henderson, American 77. I don't know what happened to him. I'm trying to oh, read him. I'm heading you on for uh, Sterling, Matt 37. Looks like he turn, took a turn to the south, and uh, now I'm, uh, I don't know what altitude he's at or what he's doing. Last night he was at, uh, heading towards Falmouth at 35. Well, just let me know. Okay, I'll try to get a hold of him. Thanks. American 1023, contact Indy Center on 123.77. Good day. 2377, American 1023. Good day. U.S.R. 1751, descend and maintain flight level 350. Number 489, Quebec Sierra, clear direct Spartansburg. Clear direct Spartanburg, 489, Quebec Sierra. American 77, Indy Radio Check, how do you read?
Any where you're calling Flexjet 423? Uh, Flexjet 423, uh, negative. American uh, 77, uh, Indy Center, how do you read? American 77, any radio check, how do you read? U.S. Air 1751, contact Indy Center on 134.22, good day. 1751, 3422. Number 489, Quebec Sierra, contact Indy Center on 134.22, good day. 3422, Quebec Sierra, good day. U.S. Air 12, Christian U.S. Air 217, clear direct Holston Mountain. Direct Holston Mountain, U.S. Air 217. Coast. This is Henderson. Still haven't got American 77. Uh, last he was at 35 going to Falmouth, so I don't know where he is out there anywhere yet. So I'm still trying to get a hold of him. We contact the company. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Fletchet 2, Christian Fletchet 423, contact Indy Center on 134.22. Good day. Charleston, 1249, Cleveland. Charleston, 59, uh, Morgantown. American 77, Indy. Sorry, American uh, 2493. American 2493, go ahead. Yeah, we uh, sent a message to dispatch to have them come up on 2027. Is that what you want them to do? Yeah, we had him on the west side of our airspace, and he went into coast, and I uh, don't have a track on him, and now he's not talking to me, so we don't know exactly what happened to him. We're trying to get a hold of him. We also contacted your company, so thanks for the help. All right. American Dispatch, Jim McDonald. This is Indianapolis Center. I'm trying to get a hold of American 77. Uh, Indy, hang on one second, please. What? Hang on one second, sir. All right. Who are you trying to get a hold of? American 77. Okay. On frequency 120.27. 120. 120.27. We were talking to him, and all of a sudden it's just, uh. Okay. All right, we'll get a home for you. All right. Thank you. American dispatch. Can we yeah, this home? is Indianapolis Center. We, uh, so uh, talked to the same guy about American 77. Yeah. I, I, I still called them, but I didn't get a reply back from them. We uh we lost track control of the guys in Coast Track, so we have we don't know, really know where his target is, and we can't get a hold of him. Um, you guys tried him and no response. No response. Yeah, we have no radar contact and uh, no communications with him. So if you guys could try him again, we're doing it. All right, thanks a lot. We're doing it. Thank you. American Dispatch, Jim McDonald. Indianapolis Center, did you get a hold of American 77 by chance? No, sir, but we have an unconfirmed report that the second airplane hit the World Trade Center. And it's Say again? You know, we lost American 11 through hijacking. So, you know, American was a, a Boston, Los Angeles flight. It was, all right. I can't really, I can't hear what you're saying there. You said American 11? Yes, we were hijacked. Which is a Boston LA flight, and 77 is a Dulles LA flight, and um, we have an unconfirmed report a second airplane just flew into the World Trade Center. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Are you able to confirm anything within your airline to us? No, uh, unfortunately. How, how about can you tell me if we know for sure it was American 11 that went into the trade center? We think that's who it was. Okay. And we're missing another flight also. Uh, what flight are you missing? 77. And, and when was the last time you knew for sure something about him? Uh, he was in, um, wait a minute. Well, there's a, I don't know how he got up there, but there's they think got a 77 is up there also. Okay. He's, he's out of Dulles. I, uh, okay, and? Dulles, L.A., 
and they both uh, apparently have been hijacked in 11, and we're pretty sure is in, the, in there, and, and uh, 77. We were talking to them, uh, according to Indianapolis Center, about uh-huh. 45 minutes ago, uh-huh. and uh, in Indy Center. Uh-huh. And I don't know how we got to, to uh, back to the Trade Center. I have no idea if, if, if that happened. Okay, it may not have. We have another call sign. Of course, we don't know for sure any of these call signs right now, uh-huh. but... If we find that it's your aircraft, we'll certainly give you a call. Okay. So right. you, you have uh, you have two airplanes in the Trade Center? Yes. And uh, you don't know who either one of them are for sure? Yeah, that's true. Okay. If All I right. did, I would share it with you. Okay, thanks. All right. Bye, Bill. Hey, A. Say tactical net back to Boston, FBI. Head FBI is on. Okay, we have uh, two reports, preliminary information, uh, believed to be American Airlines Flight 77 and Flight 11, uh, collided with World Trade Center. Uh, also a preliminary report, United Airlines Flight 175, off radar. Uh, no further information. Okay, so that's American 77 and United 175? Uh, that's correct. Um, do we have their uh, airport of origin on both of those. Okay, back to FBI. It's American Flight 77. Second flight is 11. Uh, those are the two aircraft believed to be involved with World Trade Center. Uh, route is reported as Dulles to Los Angeles for 77. Boston to Los Angeles for 11. United Airlines is not uh, believed to be involved in World Trade Center at this time. Okay, so it's American 77 and American 11? That's, a, that's correct. American 11 was Boston to L.A.? Uh, that's the report I've got. Okay, and the other one was Dulles to L.A.? Dulles to LAX. I've got uh, uh, two flights here now. The second one's American oh, Airlines 77. Okay, so it's 77 and 11. Al- Dulles that's affirmative. To LA. Uh, the other report was regarding United 175. We had a 11. report that it was uh, off the radar. Um, the United Airlines is not involved. Okay, is that, uh, where was that United 175 from? FAA Washington operation. Uh, we're getting conflicting reports on that uh, FBI on the 175. Where did it go off radar? United 175. Stand by, please, uh, back to FBI. I've got a report from Eastern, FAA Eastern Region Air Traffic that have dropped off radar over Indiana. And it's not. United 175. Andy. Hey, Andy, this is Pat's Command Center. I need you to tell me anything and everything you can about American 77, where he is, and if you have radar or not. Well, okay, I'm listening to my office manager talk to Washington. I'm sorry? We were talking to him in the vicinity of uh, Henderson. Henderson? What's Henderson? Hang on, hang on a second. Okay, we, uh, I guess we were talking to him in the vicinity of Henderson, HNN. We lost communications and radar with him. Hang on a minute, I'm gonna have the, the office manager tell you the story. Hello, Command Center. Yes, sir. This is John Thomas, Ops Manager. I think we need to let everybody know this right away if they don't already. American 77 was over, uh, was just west of Charleston, West Virginia, at flightable 350. It's a heavy, heavy Boeing 752 and disappeared off our radar scope about 1256Z, a long width lost uh, frequency. We were treating it as the law started to do some procedures to notify search and rescue and whatnot when uh, American Airlines told us they've had some aircraft or an aircraft hijacked. We now believe that aircraft may have been hijacked, although no one has, you know, we have nothing to verify that. What with the World Trade Center, we could have another loose aircraft out there somewhere. Okay, but at the time of loss, do you, uh, what altitude was the at? Flight, flight level 350. And he just lost primary also? Lost all, yes, lost no primary or uh, that we could see. Of course, we don't, wouldn't necessarily be able to pick up a primary there anyway. 
But we and I'm assuming then that you're uh, uh, doing what you can to do a primary re retrack on him if you can do that from yes. the Sure. And then, uh, so 1256 Zulu, we lost Pro comm and radar. Any uh, ELT? No ELT. Um, okay. Uh, any more information you get, I appreciate it, and I'll forward this immediately up to the NOM and everybody that's standing up there. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Go for a zero 06. Traffic is 11 o'clock and 5 miles northbound, fast moving, type and altitude unknown. Are you have the traffic? Do you know what kind it is? Can you see? Looks like a 757, sir. A 757. Can you estimate his altitude? Uh, it looks like he's at low altitude right now, sir. Go for 86. Thank you. That uh, traffic for go for 06 is still in a descent now, and uh, looks like he's rolled out northeast now. All right. Thank you. Go for 86, climb and maintain. Uh, you got a military? Yeah. Stand by. Go for 86, turn right and follow the traffic, please. Go for 86, turn right, hitting 080. We're going to back to you for the traffic. Okay, 080, go for 06. Tell us I'm keeping. Go for 86, I'm um, 06 with me for a while. Go for 06, guys. Yes, sir, that aircraft is down. He's in our 12 o'clock position. Uh, looks like it's just to the uh, north west of the airfield at this time, sir. Go for 86, thank you. Just going to maintain 2000. Okay, we're down to 2000. And uh, this is go for 06. It looks like that aircraft crashed into the Pentagon, sir. Go for 86. Go for 06, thank you. Go for 06, you can maintain 3,000 and a turn left heading 270. Okay, left turn to 270, go for 06. Uh, any chance we can circle around the Pentagon, sir, on our 270 turn? Go for 06, approved as requested. Go Go for a 06, okay, they're asking if you would go ahead and move away now towards the west, 270 heading and uh, 2,000 for now. Roger, uh, we're climbing to 3,000, sir, and it uh, looks like the aircraft is impacted the west side of the Pentagon. All right, thank you. Military Boston Center just had a report that American 11 is still in the air and it's on its way towards heading towards Washington. Okay, American 11 is still in the air? Yes, it was definitely another, another aircraft that hit the tower. That's the latest report we have. Okay. I'm going to try to confirm an ID for you, but I would assume he's somewhere over uh, either New Jersey or somewhere further south. Okay, so American 11 isn't a hijack at all then, right? No, he is a hijack. He, American 11 is a hijack. Yes. And this he's going into Washington? This could be a third aircraft. Okay, third aircraft hijack heading towards Washington. No. Okay, uh, American Airlines is still airborne. 11, the first guy, he's heading towards Washington. Okay, I think we need to scramble Langley right now, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the fighters from Otis and try to chase this guy down if I can find him. Yeah. You sure? Yeah, the MCC okay, he's right. heading towards Langley, or I should say Washington. American uh, 11, the original guy, he's still airborne. We're still doing it, still getting a, we're getting a position. Got, like, uh, got a position? Got a couple of hijacks on the go, real world. Gotta go. All right, uh, they are. Okay. Foxy, scramble Langley, heading towards the Washington area. Roger that. Could be American. Hold on a second. We're trying to get a code on this guy right now. We do have a tail number. It's a. Oh, we're. It's uh. What was the tail number? November.
number 334 Alpha Alpha. If we can find him, we, we, we're getting, we're trying to get, we're, we're trying to get the mode, we're trying to get position on this guy. So, then we'll run on him. Yep. Okay. Bye. Okay. Okay, right now what we're running with out there is two by zero by two by gun for Langley. Two gang and two uh, two tanks. Okay, also we have the Panta four five four six zero by two by two by gun three tanks. Let me give you another heading towards Washington. Three tanks, affirmative. Plus I have uh, more aircraft available to me if I need it from the software. Okay, also I have a tanker main eight five. Okay, got tanker. I have additional tankers out of McGuire, KC-10s, team call sign. I'm not sure on the, the numbers. 2-2 two, two and 2-3, two, two KC-10s. I'm sticking them in uh, Whiskey 107. Yeah, and did you get the word that Langley got scrambled? Sorry, sir. Yes. Okay, we yeah. couldn't find a position on the We just got scrambled about uh, two minutes ago. No, that's... Okay. Echo, uh, Echo, Echo says forget the tail chase. Even though we couldn't find him. Hmm? Yeah, great. That's great. Hi, this is Huntress calling. Um, I was told to give you a buzz for our, our mission crew commander. Any information? I guess three aircraft out of Boston are missing, and apparently two of them have hit the World Trade Center, and one is en route to Washington. Did you get that information? Yeah. American 1-1 is not the aircraft that crashed. It is still airborne. Did you get that information? That's what we just found out. We don't know where it is, though. It's headed towards Washington was the last... Known information. Right. And I don't know, but somebody's got to get the president going. <laughs> this is not good. They better start looking for this guy. Uh, we, yeah, we just went up. I'm not going to say too much right now, but uh, I want to give you a heads up. Um, do you have any information, though, where American 1 1 is or anything? See, this guy, they. Boston is the only one giving us any kind of decent okay. freaking input. Just want to just want to say one more thing to you. Uh, Washington, I don't know if they don't think this is serious or not, but they are not, unless they hear from like the centers. If you could give them a heads up and let them know that this is Washington Center, um, they're not really not at all. Okay, sir. We've got to get a point out on that American Airlines. Boston they got him? Washington right now. I don't know if he's on him yet. Well, vice versa, I just talked to them. And I'd have the president yeah. airborne, wherever. What's up? Uh, Boston has no clue where they are, and he's going to let Washington Center know that this is very serious. Good. Because nobody's actually yeah, serious in there. So, hey. I get our lat long. Anybody good at math? Take our lat, last lat long, and they were doing 290 knots. Did you get the third? Headed towards Washington. The Z point. That was the American Airlines one. No, our first, our first Z point. Yeah, that was the American Airlines. That was our lat long on him. Of them up there. Open line. Hunter ID, unsecure line. Hunter ID, this is Washington Center, the operations manager. Uh, Go ahead, sir. Okay, I guess you called here a couple times. You never talked to me, but if there's anything you need or anything I can help you with, let me know where it is right now, please. Okay, um, 
Do you want me to let you know what we have going on, sir? I would, yes. Well, okay. I would have a pretty good idea, but yes. Okay, the three aircraft missing out of Boston. I just spoke at Boston, and they said that they're not sure of the third aircraft call sign, but they do have two. One of them is United 175. Uh -huh. The other one is American 11. Right. They thought that the American 11 was the aircraft that crashed into the World Trade Center with the United 175. However, American 11 is not the aircraft that crashed. He said the pilot on American 11 was talking to him, having a rough time telling him what's going on. There was threats in the cockpit being made. This was the initial uh, hijack information that we got, American 11767 from Boston to Los Angeles. Proposed route, he was headed towards JFK at the time that they lost contact, but that was not the aircraft headed uh, into the World Trade Center that hit it. Okay. That's what Boston's saying. He, the last known, and I'm not sure where we heard it through the grapevine people calling, is that American 11 was headed towards Washington, and that's the only aircraft. thing. Was headed toward where? Washington. Okay. So your AOR, and I just wanted to give you a heads up. Okay. The last, now, okay, go ahead. The last known lat long that we had, primary target only was 4038 North, 07403 West, on American 11. Okay. But again, remember, nothing has been confirmed as far as which aircraft have hit the World Trade Center, but the other one we have is information headed towards Washington. Okay. Now, let me tell you this. I, I, we were looking. We are also lost American 77. American okay. 77. American Where was he proposed to head, sir? Excuse American me? Where was he proposed to head, sir? Okay. He was going to L.A. also. He was also going to L.A. LA. Now, uh, from where, sir? Uh, I think he was from Boston, also. Well, now, now, let me tell you this this story here. Uh, Indi Indianapolis Center was working this guy. What guy? American 77. Okay. At flight level 350. However, they lost radar with him. They lost contact with him. They lost everything, and they don't have any idea where he is or what happened. So, what we've done at the round surrounding centers here is to tell everyone to look out for limited codes primary targets or whatever the case may be. Okay. And that was the last time, that was about 15 minutes ago since I talked to the type, type Indianapolis aircraft? Center uh, Operations Manager. Do you have a type aircraft, sir? That was a 767, I believe. 767. Okay. And uh, so I don't call Indianapolis. American American I somebody else is talking. I'm sorry. I can't hear you in the background. Correct. Um, all I need is the lat long last known position of the 767. Well, I don't know. That was boss. I was in the center, but they said somewhere. It was, last time I talked to them, they said it was east of York, and I don't even know what state that is. Okay, sir. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just give them a call. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Hunter ID is coming around. Can I help you? Uh, latest report. VFR six miles southeast of the White House. Six miles southeast of the White House? Yep. He's, he's moving away. Southeast of the yep. White House? Aircraft is moving away. Moving away from the White House? Yeah. Okay, but what, he was a DVFR? We, we believe just, we just know it's a VFR aircraft. We're not sure who it is. Uh, if you want to hold on a second. Okay, copy. Have people down there looking. Okay, copy. Where was that position? Six, six southwest. Six southwest of the White House deviating away. Deviating away. You don't have a type aircraft because you don't know who he is. Nothing. Nothing. We're in Boston, so I have no clue. But hopefully someone in Washington would have a better uh, information for you. Okay. Is this a good number to keep calling? Yeah, this is a great number to keep calling. Okay. All right. Uh, Washington, okay, so it's six miles. You guys have a primary target only? We just had a telecom. We don't have any target at all up here. We're just on a telecom. We just heard that. I wanted to make sure you got that information. Okay. Can you do me a favor and go yeah. ahead and fill uh, I mean, Washington on this? I'll try to give him a call. I don't have a number for you. Okay, that. I'll give you a good number then. Washington's number is nine. What is it? Okay, their number via set is. And what was New York? New York's number that we've got for them is. Oh, uh, uh, you don't have a DSN? No, I don't have a DSN for New York because we have shot line. Okay, I got that. Okay. Do you have an update on the DVFR, sir? That was took no, no, no information on it at all. You would be better talking with Washington. Or a deviating. Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. It's a deviating aircraft or it's a DVFR. Okay. That's what you have? No, 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 sir. On the the one that was six miles southeast of the White House. Yes, yeah, southwest. Southwest. Yes, yeah, southwest. Okay, southwest of the White House. Was he a DVFR, or you don't have any codes on him, but was he an actual deviating aircraft? Well, we believe he, I guess they believe now he might have been a deviating aircraft. You believe that he's a deviating aircraft? Yeah. Okay, copy. Get more out of Washington to look for me. Okay, copy. Okay. Copy. Just passing information. Okay.
Washington. Washington, Huntress. Uh, Boston just called us. They said that they had information about some aircraft that was six miles southwest of the White House that appeared to be deviating. Do you Boston know does? Boston called and said that I'd have to get the information from you on it. They don't have a call sign for the aircraft. They don't have any codes for the aircraft. They just know that there's one that's six miles southwest of the White House. Okay. Well, Boston's airspace doesn't even come close to that. I don't know how they got that information, but uh, we don't. Hey. <laughs> Okay, we we don't know anything about that. Okay, you don't know anything about no, that. No, we do right? not, and it's probably just a rumor. But uh, if you might want to call uh, uh, National or Andrews, somebody somewhere like that, and find out. But we don't know anything about that. Copy thing. Okay, bye. Bye. The White House. Get your fighters here. Excuse me, Fox. I came from Boston. Well, we're going to turn and burn and crank Six it up. Miles. All right, here we go. This is what we're going to do here. Miles east of the White House right now. The monster march. Okay. He's what happened? From the face. Is that, that airline right now? Run them. Team 2-1, you want to turn relay? Authorizing FTO right now. You want to authorize it? I can't get through. Yeah, we're hearing them loud and clear. What are we doing? Going direct east. Oh, okay. Yeah, FTO. Right now. Okay. We'll come in super You need be. I don't care how many windows you break. Finally, I'm going to be just there. 386. Why'd they go up there? God damn it. Okay. Yeah, just push them back. Langley command post. Snapple's on. All right, this is Huntress with an active air defense scramble for quit 25 and 26. I repeat, an active air defense scramble for quit 25 26. Scramble immediately. Time 1324. Authenticate Bravo X ray. Scramble on a heading of 010. Flight level 290. Contact Huntress on frequency 234.6. And back up 364.2. Do all parties uh, acknowledge with initials? Langley Command Post. How may I help you? Colin Coggins, Boston Center Military. Yes, sir. Third aircraft, Delta 1989. Okay, give me Delta, Delta 1989. Okay, type aircraft. Type aircraft? Yes, sir. Code, can I give you a code? Yes, give me the code. 1304, presently what? due south of Cleveland. Okay, presently due south of Cleveland. Heading westbound, destination Las Vegas. Heading westbound, destination Las Vegas. And is this one a hijack, sir? We believe it is. You believe it is? Are they going to squawk hijack? I don't know. I don't know. It's just squawking 1304 now if you want to try to track him up. Okay. Can you type aircraft as what, sir? Yeah. Uh, can, you, can you type aircraft on that Delta? Delta 1989. I think he's on there. 767. 767. And, and altitude? Yes, please. 350. 350, okay, copy that. And where where did he take off out of, sir? He took off out of Boston. Boston? Okay. Yeah, we'll try to get you a tail number on that if you want to get someone up there. All right, copy okay. that. Do you have any chance to know uh, souls on board? Uh, no, we don't have that information. You don't have uh, any of that. that there you go. Copy that. Delta. Thank you, sir. Okay, Do you, you want me to hurry up? I'm going to make We're going to try to get you a tail number. Okay, okay thanks. Right, bye. bye. Andy Center. Uh, Indianapolis Center. Uh, reference is Delta 89. Do you know any information about that aircraft? I wanted to give you a heads up. This is another hijack aircraft. Uh-huh. Boston to Las Vegas. He's on a mode 3 of 1304. We do have contact 
And what was the number again, Delta? Delta 8-9. It's a 767 out of Boston, heading uh -huh. to Vegas, and he's on a mode 3 of 1304. I have an exact lat long if you need it. Go ahead. Lat long. Look at Delta 89 quick. Go ahead. 421 North, uh -huh. 08215 West. Okay. And just to give you a heads up, that's all we have right now, but he is confirmed hijacked. Okay, we're not showing him in our system at this point. You are tracking him, you say? We have him on the radar, sir, but he is headed your way. He is headed our way. Delta 8-9. Okay. Off Boston to LAS, right? LAX. LAX? I've got, I've got Vegas, sir, whatever Vegas is. Oh, LAS, okay. Las Vegas. Okay, because we're not showing him in the system anywhere. Okay, he's on a, do you have like mode 3 capability or anything? He's on a 1304 code? Correct, correct. Okay, we'll bring that up. All right, sir. Okay, thanks. We got the loot on? Give me my old three, Dickman. Cleveland Center, Hunter's ID. Uh, we are obviously having uh, a pretty bad situation going on with aircraft. I wanted to give you a uh, heads up. Did they get into the bar? Hold on, please. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so you don't know who is the one. What's the third? Okay, what's the third one? The third aircraft. You guys don't know who. We believed it was Delta 1989. However, when we was, we asked him to respond to eight cars to land to Cleveland, he said he would. So, therefore, I don't know if. Uh, um, and that's the one by I don't know if he's a hijack or not. I really don't know. Okay, well, I can mean, confirm that he is. Okay, do you remember when we were talking about um, the, the aircraft by, do you guys have any idea who that aircraft was by? Uh, by the White House? Yeah. We had thought for some reason to believe it was American 11. I right. don't know if we heard that from somebody else that they got a visual on them that was American mm -hmm. Airlines or what. We just don't know. So we don't know uh, which aircraft that was. So we have three call signs. We don't know the third call sign is yet. So we have two aircraft in the towers and one in the Pentagon, and we don't know what that third call sign was. You don't know what the third call sign was? No, we, we originally thought Delta 1989 was it, but now that we have a third aircraft, that means there's you know, possibly four aircraft. Are you, still, are you still tracking Delta 1989? Yes, sir, we still are. Is, he, is he descending into Cleveland? Um, to be? Right now, no. He's, he's, at, he's at 28,000 feet, 396 knots. Still squawking his coat. Still squawking his coat? Yeah, it looks like he's by Toledo. By Toledo. So it doesn't look like he's landing. No. Okay. Uh, now he's at 27,000 feet. He's at 27? Yeah. Oh, maybe he's... Sir? Yes. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Where would he be right now if he was uh, going to be landed in Cleveland? Would he be descended? He would be descended now. He would be descended and, and speed would be slowing. Speed would be slowing. Well, it looks like he's not going to go there. It doesn't look like he's going to Cleveland. Nope. He's okay. Back. We got, uh, well, here's the deal. Uh, the one that was the two birds that was they, they just did a quick turn. You got no weapons. Yeah. They just went on a strafing run up, up to the range. They blew all the road. I know, but we got two. Though. They're loitering, and we're going to send them down to do an investigation. Two from Suffrage are airborne already. I got two more from Toledo. This, that special track's over, uh, the, what do you call it, over the lake right now. So what are we going to do with it if it is it? What are we going to do? i got to give my guy's direction. Hey, yes. reference at Delta 1989. Yes. Um, so we haven't talked to them. They talked to the pilot. He's not declaring emergency, but they're going ahead. I mean, in the hijack, they're going to go ahead and land him at Cleveland for precautionary measures. He's not a hijack? No. Any center? Hi, Hunter's ID calling. I wanted to give you a heads up on the Delta Airlines 1989 that was in Cleveland Center, the OR. He was giving you the information that he was a hijacked aircraft. He is not a hijacked aircraft. He's taken precautionary measures, and he's landing at Cleveland Center. However, we do have four fighters launched on that aircraft, just to be sure. Yeah, Medix 150, and you, uh, uh, they are taking the Philadelphia traffic right now, uh, whatever's airborne, uh, as, as long as they can. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get you in there. All right, great. Thanks. Appreciate it. But you may still want to talk to your company and see what the alternate plans are. They, I don't know if you heard about the accident in uh, New York. Yeah, we just uh, turned on the ADF to try to find out. Sounds pretty serious out there. Uh, yeah. United 93, that traffic for you is 1 o'clock, 12 miles eastbound, 370. Negative contact, we're looking at United 93. Somebody call Cleveland. Roger, Mark, in the 1060 with you, we're 370, we're uh, slowing uh, due to the delays on the ball going, going eastbound. 
That's American 1060. You got United 93? United 93. Stop the yeah. descended. What's okay. that? I just say it looked like he descended there. I don't there. think so. United 93, verify 350. United 93, Cleveland. Go ahead, Frankie. Do you have United 93 south of Shark? We hear some funny noises. We're trying to get him. Do you okay. have him? No. Thank you. United 93, Cleveland. United 1523, did you hear your company? Uh, did you hear uh, some interference on the frequency here uh, a couple of minutes ago, screaming? Yes, I did, 797, and uh, I, we couldn't tell what it was either. Okay. United 93, Cleveland, if you hear the center right then. An American uh, 1060, a ditto on the uh, other uh, transmission. American 1060, you heard that also? Yes, sir, twice. Roger, we heard that also. Thanks. I just wanted to confirm it wasn't some interference. What is he doing right here? I got the pitch down. Keep remaining sitting. We have a ball board. So it's there. Uh, calling Cleveland Center, you're unreadable. Say again slowly. Yeah, that transmission you said was unreasonable. It sounded like someone said they have a bomb on board. That's what we thought. We just, uh, we, we, did, we didn't get it clear. Is that United 93 calling? Center, Medix 150. Medix 150, uh, stand by if you would, uh, unless you got an emergency. Stand by. Roger, USR 2657, Cleveland 125.42. 2542, yes, sir. Left, 29 for Executive 956, that aircraft we believe was transmitting is 12 o'clock, one five miles. Turn left, heading 225. I'll get you away from them. Left and 925. Executive 956. 16, Mike Foxtrot, fly heading 120 to get you away from that. Going 120, I'm heading, Mike Fox. 561 Alpha Charlie, fly heading 090. 090, 1 Alpha Charlie. Roger, American 1060, fly heading 090. 090, 0, Mike. Roger. Center, Executive 956. What's that traffic as far as again? Again. That traffic we're turning for, is that about a 2 to 3 o'clock? Is it uh, 1 to 2 o'clock, yeah, or 2 to 3 o'clock as you turn. Okay, we got a TCAS, I think we got him. Okay, he's climbing, so I want to keep everybody away from him. Okay, I think we got him in sight. Delta 1989, uh, Cleveland? Yes, sir. Delta 1989, uh, turn right to a heading of uh, 320. All right, Delta 1989, heading 320. Right. Okay, Delta 1989, we're going to go the other way, fly heading of uh, 260. All right, so 260, that was 1989. No, 1989, right. Uh, here's the captain. Uh, I would like to all to remain seated. We have one uh, aboard, and we are going to back to the airport, and we have our demand, so please remain quiet. Okay, it's United 93 calling. United 93, understand, have a bomb on board. Go ahead. And center executive 956F was the transmission. Executive 956, did you understand that transmission? The affirmative, he said there was a bomb on board. And that, that was all you got out of it also? The affirmative. Roger. United 93, go ahead. United 93, you hear Cleveland Center. The American 1060 and Executive 956, we just lost a target on that aircraft. Okay, 956, we had a visual on him, just stand by. Do you have a visual on him now? Uh, we did, but we lost him in the turn. Uh, we just make a quick... Uh, well, I had a 37 aircraft right behind you on a vector also. That may be who you saw. Do you have a visual on him now, uh, Executive 956? If you can make a turn back to a 220 heading, let me know if you can see him. Yeah, he's still there. We got him for 956. Are you still there? Uh, northwest would be about 25 miles. Stay for 956. Okay, stand by, please. Okay, looks like I have everyone on here except Boston Center. This is uh, the Air Traffic Command Center and the TMO on duty in the West Area. I need to have all traffic management units do an inventory, basically an inventory of all airborne traffic. Ensure that you do not have any unusual situations or any aircraft that are not accounted for. If you have any unusual situations or unaccounted for aircraft, identify them and contact us here at the command center. United 93 may have a bomb on board. Okay, United 93, who's speaking? Cleveland Center. Okay, Cleveland. What's his uh, origination and destination? It's out of Newark, 
out of Newark going to San Francisco. His position is 20... 15 east, naturally he's farther than that. He's east of Dryer. His exact position is 30 miles east of Dryer. Okay, you have a transponder on this aircraft or did he go primary? At this time, he's uh, code 1527 and we still have a transponder. Okay, and can you give me any additional information as to why you believe there may be a bomb? Uh, because he's screaming that on the frequency. Okay, very good. Thank you. Anyone else? All right, I'm disconnecting now. We just had another report, United 93, who was in Cleveland Center's airspace somewhere around Dyer Intersection, just reported that they heard screaming on the frequency and the people have a bomb on board. The aircraft departed Newark en route to San Francisco was the report. You know what type? Uh, no, don't have that information. Okay, we're still tracking it, all right? Correct, we're still tracking it at this time. Okay, thanks, Bert. All right. Our question here is, our, our aircraft that we have has climbed, turned, and is not talking to us, so do we want to scramble and get a couple of local military here? Okay, that's a decision that has to be made at a different level. Oh, is someone talking about it at least? What's the call sign again? It's United 93. He's right, right over Cleveland. Over Cleveland now? Yeah. Okay, we'll call you right back. United 93, we spoke about him before? Yes. He is reversing course over Akron. They just lost his transponder. He's heading eastbound. What kind of airplane do we know yet? Uh, just a second. 757. Thanks, buddy. The aircraft is descending. Okay, we, yeah, he is descending. We Correct. Heard that. Okay, United 93. Go ahead. It's 29 miles out of, uh, 29 minutes out of Washington, D.C. 29 minutes out of Washington, D.C. and tracking towards that. This is the one who reversed cars in Ohio. Yes. Go ahead. That's all I have. Okay. The uh, United 93 is 29 minutes out of where? Uh, he's heading towards the Washington area. He has, he was at flight level 350. He turned around at Akron, Ohio and it's tracking toward the Washington area at this time. All right, they're pulling Jeff away. We're going to talk about United 93. Uh, do we want to think about uh, scrambling aircraft? Oh, God, I don't know. Uh, that's a decision somebody's going to have to make probably in the next 10 minutes. Uh, you know, everybody just left the room. United 93 is two zero miles northwest of Johnstown. Two zero miles northwest on primary? Uh, well, that's a report from another aircraft. United 93 yes. was waving his wings as he went past the, v the VFR aircraft. They don't quite know what that means. Rocking his ring wings. Okay. I believe I was the one talking to you about that Delta 1989. Go ahead. Okay, well, uh, disregard that. Uh, um, did you... What we found out is that he was not a confirmed hijack. Okay, no, no, no. I, I, I don't want you to worry about that right now. Uh, we got a United 93 out here. Are you aware of that? United that has a, we've got three more hijacked airboards. That has a bomb on board. A bomb on board. And he's confirmed. Do you have a mode 3, sir? No, we lost his transponder. Um, what we want to know is, did you scramble airplanes for that Delta 8 1989? We did, out of Southridge and Toledo, sir. Did you? Did you? Are they in the air? Yes, they are. Is there any way we can get them to where this United is? Okay, uh, there is now on that United 93. Yes. There is a report of black smoke in the, in the last position I gave you. 15 miles south of Johnstown. Uh, from the airplane or from the ground? Uh, they're speculating it's from the aircraft. Okay. Uh, who, it, it hit the ground. That's, okay. what they're, that's what they're speculating. It's speculation right. only. Okay. Getting a preliminary report that United 92 hit the ground about 15 miles south of Johnstown. Uh, we're the aircraft. Fifteen twenty seven mode three. We got a track number? Fifteen twenty seven mode three. We got a track number? Okay, we got a mode three on this uh United ninety three. 
How close are you? And straight and down. Three nine five one north. Zero seven eight four six west. Got it. Toledo was, look for him. Okay, I need a track number. Okay, hey, Dean. Weapon? Okay, two air, two, apparently the United Nations will be airborne less than 20 minutes. Near Pittsburgh. Mode 3, 1527. Any weapons? We don't know. We'll press with that. Do we have anybody committed on the, one, the aircraft with the bomb on it? We're getting to it. We don't know where it is. We're we're getting track on it. Of weapons. Yeah. Okay. Got it. United nine three mode three fifteen. Negative. Negative clearance to shoot. Jamie. One five two seven, Brian. God damn it. <laughs> Foxy. I'm not really worried about code words. Specifically. Fuck the code words. That's perishable information. Negative clearance to fire. ID type tail. Hey, let you guys know also the White House. I'm doing uh, well, as good as uh, can be expected. Uh, I've got guys that will be launching in about 15 minutes. Appreciate it. Are they loaded? We've got hot guns. That's hot all guns? I've got. Well, that, that's good enough for me for the time being. Only words i got, i got another possible aircraft with a bomb on board. It's in uh, Pennsylvania, York, approximately area. Yeah, that's south. Yeah, south of us. And there's also the possibility of... Another one that's possibly at Cleveland area. Okay. Pittsburgh. Do we have vectors on those? Not yet. It's like one is the one over Cleveland turned around, looks like he's heading back. The guy down at York, Pennsylvania, he's heading at north northwest. Okay, we might be able to get those two. Yeah. And the call sign for the guy in York is United ninety three. Mode three of fifteen twenty seven. Okay, it doesn't help us. We can't interrogate. Yeah, I got Okay, and I got this other guy out west. He's American. Where's that guy? Over okay, I got one who just faded over Cleveland. Delta 8 Niner, mode 3. Yeah, I know it's not going to help you, but if you're talking to FAA, they might be able to help you. 1304. Okay, when we get our guys airborne, they're going to contact you on 260.9. Uh, I've got two jets right now. Do you need more than two? Can you bring up two more? Get four to them. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. And if you want to talk to Colonel uh, Colonel Marr, he's up at six four zero three, sir. Thank you. I don't... I also want to give you head up, heads up, Washington. Go ahead. United nine three. Have you got information on that yet? Yeah, he's down. He's down. Yes. When did he land? Because we he, have information. He, he, did, he did not land. Oh, he's down. Yes. Yeah, somewhere up northeast of Camp David. Northeast of Camp David. That's the, that's the last report. They don't know exactly where. You need to read this. Region commander has declared that we can shoot down tracks that do not respond to our uh, direction. Okay. I'll pass out the weapons. Okay. The region, com the region commander has declared that we can shoot down aircraft that do not respond to our direction. Let's copy that. Copy that, sir. So if you're trying to divert somebody and he won't divert, he's saying no. No? Came over the chat. Fox, you got a conflict on that? You got a conflict on that direction? Right now, no. Okay. Hey, okay. You read that from the vice president, right? Vice president has cleared. Vice president has cleared us to intercept track. You know what? shoot them down if they do not respond first on our CC. Tell me what you need to tell me. This is for Panther 1, correct? They're tapping over yeah. Boston. Okay, uh, what? Any track of interest that's heading towards the major city, you will ID. If you cannot divert them away from the major city, you are to confirm with me first, and most likely you will get clearance to shoot. And tell me, I have to tell them that in the clear? 
You can tell him exactly in those words. Okay. Okay. Anybody want? I gotta pass this right now. Answer one hundred. Answer one. Answer one. Call all all in any tracks of interest. Verify if they were going toward a major city. Mission ID. Unsuccessful divert. Ask for our clearance to shoot. MTC when able. Uh, the kill direction once again. I want one more time before I tell these guys. I'm just going to give them a brief. I'm not going to tell them to do nothing. I'm going to say what 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 to expect though. Okay, they, okay, the direction of protecting the major centers, when you're overhead the major center, being Pittsburgh in this case, you're, you have intercept authority on any traffic in the area, and if, if traffic does not respond to uh, hand signals, divert procedures, anything like that, and they continue to press in a threatening manner towards the major center, you're clear to engage. A new type of war. That's what it is. Is there like a national terrorist day or something that we missed out on? Obviously, uh, this is a day we won't forget for a long time. September 11th, 2001.